Sunday night dinners with Deborah. So that's my garden in the making. Those plants are getting ready to be planted this weekend and it'll be fresh food very soon. The weather's turned nice. It's nice and warm so tonight I am making a cob salad for our Sunday night dinner. And now to go with that cob salad I'm going to be offering several types of salad dressings and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. First we're going to start with a buttermilk dressing. It's just a chive buttermilk dressing and the reason I'm doing that is because I happen to have some buttermilk on hand. Now I'm not going to make a large amount and these all can be scaled up or down depending on the size of your needs. So I'm only doing a half cup of mayonnaise. Now it's Definitely preferable to do mayonnaise rather than that dreadful Miracle Whip because Miracle Whip is a taste unto itself. And then we're adding some buttermilk. And it's going to be a quarter cup of buttermilk that I'm just going to add straight into the measuring cup. There we go. Two tablespoons of dried chives. If I had fresh in season, I would use that, but my chives are not ready yet. And I'm also going to put in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and I am going to use ground pepper because it's a small flake rather than a large chunk. And then I just take my whisk. It's a touch thick. And here's the secret. If I were to add more buttermilk, which would thin it out, it would add more of the buttermilk tang than I want. So I am just going to add a tablespoon of water. Perfect consistency. Beautiful. And I am going to always try your sauce. Mm, absolutely lovely. So I have just a small little mason jar. And then I'm just going to set that in. There we go. So that's our buttermilk. I have a plastic lid or the lid that the jar comes with. It would be just fine. The next one we're going to make is a little tomato vinaigrette. Now, I happen to have some dried tomato powder, which I make from dehydrating my tomato skins after I process them in the fall. But a little dab of tomato paste will work as well. I'm using a half teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a half teaspoon of the tomato powder. Now I'm just about out of red wine vinegar and now I don't know if you can see that but in the bottom I have the mother of the vinegar. But I just don't want, which is great for your health, but I just don't want that in my vinaigrette. Now a classic vinaigrette is one part vinegar to three parts oil. So I'm putting in about one and a half tablespoons of vinegar. I will also add, before I start adding my oil, quarter teaspoon, again, ground pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And now we just give that a whisk. And now we slowly add the oil in. Okay, so we very slowly, drops at a time, whisk in the oil. Now I'm only adding in about a third of a cup. But as always, okay, and you see how it seems all creamy and it's not separated? because it's all emulsified. However, we always want to taste it. It's got a little bit of that vinegar back kick. 
It needs about two more tablespoons of oil, I would say. Rinse off my spoon again so I'm not double dipping. Mmm, perfect. It's kind of an Italian tomato flavored dressing. And it's going into another one of my little salad dressing bottles. I have found them over the years. Oh, however, we do want to use a spatula to get all of those seasonings that have that always come out last in the measuring cup. Now the wonderful thing is, right before serving this, give it a shake. And it's a lovely tomato vinaigrette. If there is a perfect salad dressing, this is it. So I'm gonna add one cup of mayonnaise. So I've added one cup of mayonnaise. I'm going to add three tablespoons. Now I know it seems like a lot, but with white vinegar that is the next ingredient, it makes the perfect sweet and sour counterbalance. And we're adding a quarter cup of white vinegar. So just pour that right on top. And of course, it comes together in absolutely no time at all. Now the secret special ingredient, as always, celery seed. I'm adding one tablespoon of celery seed. Now I'm gonna taste it just to make sure dimensions are right. Oh, perfect. That'll go straight into a mason jar. Look at how pretty that is. Oh. And now we have one more. Now another one that's on our heavy rotation in our house is balsamic. Now I like a thicker balsamic dressing. Tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Half teaspoon of black pepper. Now I'm only adding an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Find the balsamic tastes a touch salty. Half teaspoon of sugar. Three tablespoons of balsamic. The balsamic is very personal. You can find many different types of flavoring of balsamic. So find the balsamic and keep buying them. You can buy very expensive ones. You can buy quite cheap ones. The best for us, for my balsamic dressing that I found, is a store brand balsamic that's quite inexpensive. And now I am going to turn this into an emulsification. So again, I'm gonna add about, I'm gonna say right now, three quarters of a cup of oil. Now I happen to use a neutral oil. I don't use olive oil because I don't like the flavor of olive oil. Use what you like and use what you have. And you go very slowly whisking the whole time. And it will change from a Kind of an oily separated mass to an almost solid dressing before you know it. 
again, just a drop or two at a time, a very tiny stream. Sorry for the glass clatterings. Touch more, just a touch. Okay, there we go. Now, can you really see how thick that is? But again, you want to test it to make sure it's seasoned to your liking. Again, another little spatula to get every last bit. And I choose to make them in measuring cups because of the pouring spout. So there you have it. All the makings for our Cobb salads today. Some fried chicken that I did up yesterday. I had it cooling in the fridge, sitting on top of chopsticks so that the underside, so the underside does not get soggy. Some bacon I baked off today, some hard boiled eggs, a little bit of marble cheddar left over with the grater to shred that up. Grape tomatoes, our regrown green onions, and some perfectly crisp iceberg lettuce. And then we have our choice of dressings. Our chive buttermilk, our tomato vinaigrette, our coleslaw dressing, our all balsamic dressing. And here's where we are when it's all chopped up, ready to assemble. I have these two large flat bowls. The chicken's all chopped. Bacon's all diced, cheese is all shredded, tomatoes are halved, two eggs, one per person is all you need, just two eggs are diced up, the green onion for garnish, and again our dressings. And there you have it, two cob salads. Very nice. Definitely delicious. Cob salad. What's for dinner on this Sunday night? So, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again. Okay.